and welcome to another KYC Lookup video where we explain the ins and outs of the money laundering process. In today's video, we bring you the top five money laundering movies and TV series. Money laundering is an issue that has ruined generations and economies on many different levels. This issue is everywhere and the only way to eradicate it is to spread awareness about it, which many countries are doing by introducing stricter AML rules and regulations. Although every industry has played a role in the awareness campaign combating money laundering, the television and film industry has been at the forefront raising awareness and in some cases glorifying money laundering and its hazards via a number of several TV shows and movies over the decades. Let's take a look at a few of the famous movies and TV series that address the issue of money laundering. But before diving into the video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our future videos. Okay, now back to today's video. The first in the list is Ozark. The Beards and their teenage kids, Charlotte and Jonah, are, for all intents and purposes, an ordinary family with ordinary lives. Except for the job of Marty, a Chicago financial advisor who also serves as the top money launderer for the second largest drug cartel in Mexico. After a money laundering scheme for the Mexican drug cartel goes wrong, financial advisor Martin, or Marty Beard, proposes to make amends by offering to set up a bigger laundering operation in the lake of the Ozarks region of central Missouri. Marty suddenly relocates his family from the Chicago suburb of Naperville to the remote summer resort community of Osage Beach. When the Beards arrive in Missouri, they become entangled with local criminals, including the Longmore and Smell families, and later the Kansas City Mafia. Scarface. In Scarface, the money laundering has been done through various means. A Cuban refugee and ex-convict, Tony Montana, arrives in Miami, Florida, as part of the Mariel boat lift, where he is sent to a refugee camp. In Miami, he joins hands with drug lord Frank Lopez. At first, Tony becomes a drug dealer, and then with his black money, he tries to whiten the money by initiating many businesses and starts to launder money. His businesses are strip clubs, pork stores, garbage companies, for example, eventually building a multi-million dollar empire, living in a vast, heavily guarded estate. By 1983, a string of federal agents results in Tony being charged with tax evasion and money laundering. The movie is made on the life of Al Capone. Breaking Bad. After Skylar White discovers that Walter White was involved in the drug business, she soon decides to aid Walt to launder all the earned money through the A1A car wash business. They buy a fast food restaurant chain, Los Podros Hermanos, as Walt begins to earn more and more cash, he soon discovers he cannot spend the money without his family growing suspicious of his drug business. Saul Goodman, who aids Walt by sending small but consistent donations through Walter White Jr.'s website, SaveWalterWhite.com, with the help of one of Saul's computer hacker friends. But even then the money was too much, so Saul recommends Skylar and Walt to invest in a laser tag business which Skyler and Walt ultimately deny. They then decide to invest in a car wash business. The laundering process then begins and Skyler officially becomes the owner of the car wash. After too much money had been laundered, Skyler moved all of the money to a rented storehouse to avoid suspicion. Goodfellas. In 1955, a young Henry Hill becomes enamored of the criminal life and mafia. In 1970, Billy Batts, a madman in the Gambino crew who repeatedly insults Tommy at a nightclub owned by Henry. Tommy and Jimmy then beat, stab and shoot him to death. In 1974, Karen harasses Henry's mistress, Janice, and holds Henry at gunpoint. Jimmy and Henry are arrested after being turned in by the gambler's sister, an FBI typist and they received 10 year prison sentences. To support his family on the outside, Henry has drugs smuggled in by Karen and sells them to a fellow inmate from Pittsburgh. In 1978, 
Henry is paroled and expands his cocaine business against Paulie's orders, soon involving Jimmy and Tommy. Jimmy organises a crew to raid the Lufthansa vault at the JFK airport, stealing several million and jewellery. After some members purchase expensive items against Jimmy's orders and the getaway truck is found by police, he has most of the crew murdered. As dead bodies are being discovered all over the city, Henry theorises that Jimmy would have killed them anyway, rather than share the profits of the heist. Tommy and Henry are spared by Jimmy. Tommy, however, is later led to believe that he is to become a madman and is ultimately shot dead on the way to the ceremony in retribution of Bat's murder. By 1980, Henry has become a nervous wreck from cocaine use and insomnia. He sets up a drug deal with his Pittsburgh associates, but is arrested by narcotics agents and jailed. American Maid American Maid is a story of a Baton Rouge pilot Barry Seal who flies commercial jets for TWA. He is recruited by the CIA, who asks Seal to start acting as a courier between the CIA and General Noriega in Panama. During a mission, the Medellin cartel picks Seal up and asks him to fly cocaine. Seal accepts and starts flying the cartel's cocaine to Louisiana. The CIA turns a blind eye to the drug smuggling, but the DEA tracks Seal down. Later, Schaefer asks Seal to run guns to the Nicaraguan contrast base in Honduras. Seal starts making so much money, he buries it in suitcases in the backyard. Seal's freeloading brother-in-law JB starts stealing money from the Seal and is arrested after the local sheriff catches him with a briefcase full of laundered cash. In the end, the CIA shuts the program down and abandons Seal, who is arrested by the FBI, DEA, ATF and Arkansas State Police simultaneously. In the end, Seal is shot dead by assassins. The CIA destroys all evidence connecting them to Seal. Well, there you have it. The top five money laundering movies and TV series. Although some of the movies and TV series are based on true stories, let's not forget that they have been brought to our screens for entertainment only and not as a training program for any want-to-be criminal kingpins. We hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please like, comment, subscribe and don't forget to smash the bell icon to watch more alike videos.